So this is multiple choice tip number seven, and you're going to look for multiple variables in the question, and that's what's going to tell you to use this trick or when you can use this trick. Um, you're going to pick any number or numbers for the variables in the question, and you're always going to avoid using 0 and 1 because funny things happen in math, they have different properties. I also try to pick positive numbers first always and whole numbers, so no decimals or fractions. If when you do it all of the answer choices or multiple answer choices work, then pick two different numbers making one a negative or so on. But usually it works with just choosing positive number or numbers. So let's take a look at this question. Given i is the imaginary unit, 2 minus yi squared in simplest form is, so remember that y is a variable, but i is an actual number. So I chose y equals 3. So what I did was I took my original question, 2 minus 3i squared. And you're going to go to your calculator in the home screen. So, in my home screen, 2 minus 3 second decimal point squared, and I got negative 5 minus 12i. So that negative 5 minus 12i, this is my goal, or if you have taken SAT prep, it's known as your TV or target value. And what you're going to do is you're going to substitute in 3 for y into each of the answer choices until you get that target value. So I'll do the first one with you, but then I obviously have the calculator output here for you. So I am going to, in my home screen once again, choice 1 says y squared, so I have 3 squared minus 4yi, so 4 times 3 times i, plus 4. So I did not get my target value, so I'm going to eliminate choice 1, and then I am going to repeat this process until I get my goal. So if you see here in choice 2, that was my goal, so my answer would be choice 2. Just so you can see the substitution, this was the original answer choice, and I plugged in y equals 3. Remember, you always want to put parentheses when you're substituting. And for example, in this question, there was a negative. The negative stays outside the parentheses.